Javarajan Meghani is a literary icon in Gujarati literature. He was a celebrated Indian poet, writer, social reformer, and freedom fighter. From August 28, 1896 to March 9, 1947, Meghani wrote over 100 novels during his lifetime, cementing his place as one of the most prolific writers of his generation. Born in Chotila, India, on August 28, 1896, Meghani was exposed to various cultures and natural landscapes as a child. His father's job as a junior Katiawad agency cop required the family to move around. So Meghani attended schools in Rajkot, Agvisara, Amrili, and other places. These experiences contributed to his strong connection with nature. As a child, Meghani would listen to the strange blasts of roaring gales as if the mountains themselves were speaking to him. Rivers cut through the granite boulders and flowed through the ranges, isolated canyons. They became his childhood companions. Meghani enjoyed Duha Saratha poetry, almost as much as banyan figs, wild berries, and other mountain dry fruits. He relished Duha battles between young cowherds and elderly farmers. Picture this like a a singing competition in which two or more singers take turns singing Duha poetry, but he imagined this being the the cowherds and the elderly farmers. As a child, he became famous for his melancholy ballads, earning him the moniker Vilapi. Meghani graduated in 1916 with a BA in English after enrolling in 1912. He worked part-time at Sunatan Durma High School in Udnagar before heading to Kolakata care for his ailing elder brother. In response, he withdrew from his M.A. studies in Bhuvnagar. After reading Bengali literature, he worked as a personal secretary for Jivanilal Aluminium in Kolakata, where he pursued his literary interests. In 1918, Meghani moved to Kolakata to work in the aluminium industry. Despite working there for three years, his true passion at the time was Bengal's literary renaissance. The influence of folklore on Bengali intellectuals inspired him to research the rich folk literature of Saurashtra, an ancient peninsula on India's westernmost borders. He quit his job and flew to Katiawar, now known as Saurashtra, to pursue his literary ambitions. After a period of professional struggle, Meghani returned to Bagarasa, where he met Varsudwarla, who recognized folk cultural undercurrents in Meghani's writing. This encounter sparked Meghani's creative output. He quickly rose to prominence as one of Gujarati's literature's most prolific writers. While writing, he immersed himself in Saurashtra's rich folklore, drawing inspiration from stories and legends passed down through generations. He started writing his own stories and poems, infusing them with vivid imagery and sensory details from his surroundings. Meghani's paintings, they emphasize the natural beauty and diversity of the landscape, people, and cultural traditions of Saurashtra. He infused sensory language to transport his readers to the arid deserts, rugged mountains, and verdant forests of the region. The heady scent of wild flowers, the gritty feel of sand on bare feet, and the piercing cry of eagles flying overhead were all described in his poetry. Meghani's writing influenced his strong feelings for justice and patriotism. He used his platform as a writer and activist to advocate for the rights of the people and to call for India's independence from British colonial rule. He frequently used themes of bravery and sacrifice in his writings. These are Interesting things with JC.